sometimes when you're out camping, it's cloudy, it's a little rainy. Um, people are just kind of in a blah mood. So one good way to, to cheer everybody up is chocolate chip cookies. These are easy to throw in the cooler and I'm gonna show you how to make them over a campfire. So the first thing you'll need is a Dutch oven. A Dutch oven has a lid on the, or a lip on the top of the lid to help hold the coals in place. And it has legs on the bottom so you can put coals underneath it. I like to set it on uh, this piece of steel. You can put it on the bottom of a skillet or something. That way whenever I put the coals underneath there, uh, I don't burn, leave burn marks and scars and stuff on the ground. So I'm gonna put coals underneath the Dutch oven and on top of it just to warm the, the Dutch oven up a little bit. And then after the, the oven warms up, I'm gonna put the cookies in. Now I wanna dig down to the bottom of the fire and get the actual coals that are down here. So I don't want these big flaming logs on top of my Dutch oven. I just want the coals. Don't really need the dirt, the dirt clumps either. keep the fire built up so it'll keep generating more coals so I can use them as I need them so right now I'm just heating the Dutch oven up a little bit just like you would preheat an oven so this is a Dutch oven lid lifter a good friend of mine bought this for me so I don't burn my hand lifting the the lid up off of the off the oven but the way it works it has a hook that hooks up underneath the handle and then these legs out here brace the lid to keep the lid from tipping side to side and spilling all your coals down into your food. So I'm gonna just pick the lid up and I'm gonna go ahead and throw my cookies inside the oven. Now that the oven is heated up, I'm gonna put this cookie dough in there. Carefully put the lid back on it so I can keep the heat in there. And I want a little bit of heat from the bottom. And then we'll just let those bake for a little bit. And when you're baking in a Dutch oven, you wanna check it frequently because it's very easy to have too much heat on the top or the bottom and burn whatever it is you're cooking. So just wanna lift the lid up very slow so I don't spill the ashes into the food. All right, they're getting there. Just gonna let them cook a little longer. Check the bottoms real quick, make sure it's not getting too done on the bottom. So 
So it's just starting to get brown on the bottoms. So I'm gonna go ahead and take it off of the, the bottom heat and let it cook just from the top down because I don't want to burn the bottoms of it. Just want to make sure none of those ashes fall into the food while I'm cooking it or as I'm lifting the lid up. Yeah, they're getting there. Just a little bit longer. I'm gonna call those done. The bottoms look perfect. Ah, there we go. I'll break them all up. The tops look good. Oh, broke that one in half. Well, we'll just call it two cookies now. If you were cooking these on a cookie sheet in an oven, you could let them cool just a little bit before you pulled them out and they'd stay together a lot easier. But if I leave them in the Dutch oven, they'll, they'll continue to cook and they'll burn on the bottoms and I don't want that. But notice they, they, they didn't stick at all to the bottom. I didn't put any extra oil or anything in the bottom of the Dutch oven. It's just the regular seasoning I have in there uh, after I wash it. Um, I'll put a little bit of oil in it and heat it up on the stove just to let that oil bake in and then wipe any excess out and do that every time and it keeps a, a nice non-stick surface on the on any of your cast iron but I think those cookies turned out perfect so that's how you cook chocolate chip cookies in a Dutch oven over a campfire